first World Cup hasn't obviously started yet. Um, you enjoying everything so far? How's it going? Uh, yeah, it's going really well. We've been here the guts of a week now, so settled in nicely into Tours. It's a lovely little city and um, got a great welcome on Saturday there. Had a nice capping ceremony not far from here and training's been going well, acclimatising to the heat um, and, yeah, building nicely. Um, you touched on it with Joe McCarthy the other day, but that sense of, you still have, I know you're a professional athlete and all that, but you still have that sense of uh, trying to like, wonder and like, this is the World Cup, this is something you probably want from your kid and you're, you're playing the year. Yeah, there is a bit of an excitement around the group. Like, I think there's about 18 of us who are here for the first time involved and um, Joe gets excited about a, about a lot of things. He's, he brings great energy to the group and uh, uh, he's a great character to have a, around the place. But there is a good buzz, but we can't get sidetracked by the, um, the, the show that's going on and the, um, the, the big crowds that'll be here. We have to sort of focus on the job that, that's at hand and uh, focus on, on Romania in the first game. Um, you're sort of Ireland's Mr. Reliable in terms of being fit and ready for the big match over the last couple of years. Given what's ahead and the duration of the tournament and the games ahead, how important do you think that physical durability within the squad is going to be um, in terms of nutrition that lies in store? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, something we're we're hoping personally and as a team to get a bit of luck with with injuries. But um, yeah, it's it's a run of what could be, I think, seven games and um, four tough pool games guaranteed. So um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Like it's physical physical sides we're playing against. It's it's as tough of a test games back to back to back that we're uh, going to be facing so that's the challenge um, but we've been building nicely during the summer we've been preparing for this um, not only in this pre-season block but for the last couple of years as well so uh, I think we're ready for it. And just last one for me then, um, obviously this is the first competitive game of the season, how close to, to clicking uh, in terms of your, your, your best form in this Ireland team? Yeah, I don't think we've shown our best in, in, in the sort of test games leading up to the World Cup so far. Um, we haven't been overly happy with our performances. There's been some good bits, but then a lot, a lot of work-ons. But um, we're, we're excited for this weekend. I think uh, we're ready to show an improvement on, on what's been uh, shown before. And um, yeah, we're, we're set for the challenge. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have known too much about them, but um, you have to do your homework on them. I have to get up to speed pretty quickly. We, we've we known the sort of schedule of games for a while now, so we've been able to prepare for this for, for a bit. And um, yeah, we've been doing our homework and research on Romania, and um, yeah, uh, we can see what, what they're about and the physicality that they're, they're going to bring uh, to, the, to this weekend. Yeah, what do you expect from them? Do you see a lot of ball coming your way? Yeah, they're they're a big, powerful pack. They back their set piece and a um, few a few physical boys in the back line as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be a tough challenge, and we're our only focus is on uh, on Saturday. And um, yeah, they're they're going to throw the kitchen sink at us, just like every team in this competition. They're going to have trained for the whole summer, going to have a good block of uh, working behind them, and um, yeah, they're going to be giving it everything. Um, I, I got to the 2015 World Cup, so I got to the uh, Ireland-Argentina quarter-final. Um, so yeah, disappointing for not only the team, but for me as a, as a um, spectator and fan. I got to the New Zealand-France game the, the, the night before as well. Um, so I'd say that's, that's the memory in my head, uh, most of all. Yeah, definitely. Everybody wants to put up their hand and be selected, and there's a there's a bit of excitement around the place now that we're here, and everybody wants to be involved. And um, it's a it's a competitive group, and uh, you've seen the the some of the performances the individuals have put in over the last sort of three games, and lads have been playing well and sticking their hands up, and 
Um, yeah, training's gone gone up another level recently because everybody wants to be involved in and this game and going forward as well. Yeah, like uh, we know every team's going to have a good pre-season or a few um, few months together to improve. So we know ourselves that we have to take what we've shown in the Six Nations, the Autumn Series, the New Zealand Series up another level um, because of that, because every team's going to have improved and going to have added little bits uh, and pieces to their game. So we've got to do uh, do the same to ours. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we've uh, we haven't shown our best so far um, over the summer. So we want to put in uh, a, a performance that uh, we know we have in ourselves. And um, yeah, if we can lay down a statement doing that, that'd be great. Um, no, you, you have to respect all the teams in the competition. Um, I suppose you have to um, gain a bit of confidence from what we've built on in the past, from, um, I suppose, beating the, the top uh, teams um, around and um, let that, I suppose, um, build, build your confidence, build your belief going into it. But you can't take anything for granted. Um, as I was saying, uh, a lot of teams will have improved over this big block that they've uh, had together, so uh, we've got to take it up a, a notch ourselves. No, it's it's a tough one to predict, isn't it? It's it's an exciting opening game. I think everyone will be uh, glued to the to the TVs on on Friday night. Um, I think it's it's annoying. It's so late, nine o'clock. I'll be nearly watching it from bed. But uh, uh, no, it's it's a great opening game, and looking forward to watching it. Uh, I'm with Jimmy O'Brien, so uh, I've known him for years now. We get on very well. We're we're neighbours back in Dublin, so uh, he's he's a good roomie to have. <laughs> uh, that's that's a that's a bit away. Uh, I would have been involved with the the qualification for the last um, Olympics, and uh, the sevens has always had great fond memories of of being there. But focuses on fifteens and and this World Cup at the moment.